white line, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm going to be late. Oh, my goodness. I don't know where I am. Okay, okay, I can't be late. It's my first day at my new job. Oh, man, I can't be late. It's my first day in the big city. Wow. King City. <laughs> Everything's going to be great here in King City. I've gone about as far as I can go. They went and built a skyscraper seven stories high. About as high as a building on a grow. <laughs> oh, we're just singing and dancing randomly. Come join us. <laughs> it's going to be like a dream here in King City. It's better than a moving picture show. In the country where I couldn't afford no shoes And then I went to college where I learned to pay my dues And now I'm gonna be working for the local Herald News I've gone about as far as I can go I've gone about as far as I can go oh, 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 oh. oh I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry, old lady. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, I've gone about as far as I can go. I've gone about as far as I can go. Well, I can't really go any further. I don't really know where the editor's office is. All right, I'll get right on that story, chief. Oh, hey, you must be the new kid in town. I am. How'd you know? Well, for one thing, you're singing about being the new kid in town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you're here for the reporter's job? That's right. The name is Casey Carter, journalist. I just got my B.A. from KCU. Well, that's A-OK. -okay. Yeah. A college kid, huh? Yep. I graduated fourth in my class. Ooh, impressive. Yes. How many people were in your class? Five. But they were all very smart. They were very, I very believe smart. you. Yes. I believe you, kid. I like you. I'll tell you what. I'm going to help you out. You are? Yeah, I know a thing or two about the news biz. Huh? So what paper are you going to be working for? Uh, um, the King City Herald, only mm. I haven't started yet. I can't really find the office. It's right through that door. Really? Oh, well, thanks, mister. Yeah. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> just a minute, kid. You don't want to go in there just yet. I don't? No, I know the editor, Mr. Rooney, and you don't want to go in there until you're prepared. Oh. I'm prepared. I went to college. Eh, I'm not talking about the kind of stuff you learn at KCU. I'm talking about the truth. Huh, uh, the truth? No. The truth. Oh, so where can I find this, uh, truth? The only place to find the truth is in the good news. Oh, well, the King City Herald? Oh, no. The Herald's a good paper, kid. But the good news, well, that comes straight from the heart of God. Well, well, well where is it? Where is it? You see that box over there? Yeah. Open it up. Go on. Don't be shy. Okay. Um. Wowzers. always do that? Every day and twice on Sunday. Huh. Bring it on over here. I'll read you some of today's good news. All right. All right. Today's report comes straight from Israel. Oh, jeepers. International news. Yep. You see, the Israelites were God's people, huh? but they had a habit of doing wrong things in God's eyes. So he sent them a judge named Deborah to help get them back on track. A dame? Not just any dame. She was their leader. The Bible says Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, was leading Israel at that time. She held court under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. Huh. And the Israelites came to her to have their disputes decided. So Deborah was in charge of all of Israel. 
That's right, kid. Then one day, Deborah told an Israelite named Barak that the Lord wanted him to lead Israel's warriors against the army of the Canaanites. Wow. But Barak refused to go unless Deborah went with him. Wow, she must have been very brave. The bravest. She wanted Barak. She told him that if she went along with him, the Lord would give the honor of victory to a woman huh. instead of to him. So what happened next? Who went? They both went together. Okay. <laughs> Deborah told Barak to start the attack down the mountain. So he went with 10,000 Israelites. Whoa, that is teamwork. Did they win? What do you think? <laughs> the Israelite army chased the entire Canaanite army with their 900 iron chariots. Whoa. You see, kid, Deborah and Barak got the victory from God. Wow, that is one ripped, snorting story. Ah, that's not just a story. That's the truth. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. I wish I was part of a winning team like Deborah and Barak, but I'm new in town, and I'm afraid I'm all alone. Not for long, kid. I've got a good feeling about you. Tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to team up with you, show you how things work around here. Well, you do that for me, but... But I don't even know your name, mister. It's right there in the paper. Open it up and read. Scoop Gibson. Scoop Gibson. The Scoop Gibson? Why, why you're the best reporter ever. <laughs> don't believe everything you read in the press, kid. I get a lot of help. Oh, gee, Mr. Gibson, I think you're just super. Well, thanks, kid. And call me Scoop. Oh, Scoop, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's for me. <laughs> Scoop here. What? Where? Downtown? Thanks for the tip. We'll be right there. I can't believe it. Hey, kid, you still want to be a reporter? More than anything. All right, I'm going to give you your first headline. I want you to go through that door and talk to the editor. His name is Pepper Rooney. Pepper Rooney. Tell him yes. that Skip sent you. Scoop sent me. Scoop sent me. Scoop sent me, yes. <laughs> OK, well, well, thank you, Mr. Gibson. I'm, I'm, I mean, Scoop. Scoop. <laughs> yeah, I won't let you now down, listen. sir. You tell Mr. Rooney that you're going to report on the big fire downtown. Big fire. Your first big headline, kid. Okay. You got that? I won't let you down, Mr. Right. Gibson. Scoop, Scoop, I won't let you down. Stop the presses. Stop the presses. There's a fire. Now There's a fire. Downtown and put out. Save King City from danger. This is a job for Scripture Guy. Story. Oh, boy, kids, I got the big job. So I'm going way downtown to go to the big King City fire. My first big story. Okay. All right, so there was a large fire. It was a very big building. There's a lot of flames. I give everything to honor my king. <laughs> <laughs>